Hey, you right, guys. Trace Munch is Joe here, and today we are going to be going through the top 15 TV shows that won in the poll of 100 TV shows. Thank you to everyone who voted. I think we had almost 10,000 individual votes. Obviously, you could vote for multiple shows, so that includes that as well. I think individual people, we had like 1,500 or something, and then 10,000 individual votes. There was one person, because I can go through each, it was anonymous, but I can go through each individual person. There was one person who just voted for all 100. There might have been more. I didn't go through all 10,000, obviously, but I clicked on, I was just randomly going through some, and then one popped up, and they had voted for, I'm pretty sure I didn't, you know, go through and count every single one, but it was it was either like 100 or 99 of the tv shows so whoever that was i mean fair play if you want me to react to all 100 of those tv shows i mean maybe by the time i'm 99 or something we'll get there but uh yeah we're going to be going through the top 15 shows that won and obviously all 15 of these shows will be going on to a poll that is for patrons only so you guys whittled down to from 100 to 15 and our patreon are gonna vote for the top three i reckon then i'll probably do those three uh, in the coming months if you do want to vote you only have to be a one dollar patreon to vote it's not like you have to be at the top tier or anything like that but obviously i understand that you guys have voted already for the top 15 and you're you might be happy with this list and also just before we jump into the top 15 i am actually going to be doing something over on my instagram which i've not done before i was thinking i want to do a bracket tournament for again 100 tv shows i think there's a little bit more than 100 uh, and kind of have you guys whittle it down and this isn't just for like me to react to it's just i thought it'd be cool if we could do a poll of people voting for what they think is the best tv show of all time and the easiest way to do that is over on instagram because i can do on my story on there do polls uh, and i'll be doing three individual polls every single day and then you guys vote in those polls on my story for your favorite tv show out of the two and then we'll whittle it down from all the tv shows to one and you guys get to decide on what that tv show is so that'll be over on my instagram that'll be starting today from when this video goes up so my instagram will be linked down below if you want to get involved on that feel free to go follow over on there or just check it out if you want to vote in a couple of uh, polls here and there uh, on that tournament i thought it'd be kind of fun to do link will be down below if you want to get involved in that but 15 shows like I said, we will do this again next year and I'll have a video before that of you guys suggesting shows to put onto the survey and then we'll do, you know, another 100 shows. Uh, I think I'll get rid of like the, the 20 that did the weakest and then replace them with 20 shows that you guys kind of suggest. At number 15, with 169 of the votes, we have Dawson's Creek. I don't know much about Dawson's Creek. I think it's quite early on in like the 90s, kind of before one tree hill and like gilmore girls came into the fold but i could be wrong on that one uh, i've heard a couple of things here and there but nothing major about it but yeah that made it to number 15 then at number 14 we have the fosters with 173 votes this is one that i've been planning to do for a while anyway i think that it has the actor who was in to all the boys i've loved before I think he got popular from that film, but he was in this show before that. I think it's this show. Uh, I, I don't know the actor's name. I think it's like Noah or something. But uh, number 13, we have Downton Abbey with 176 votes. I think I will do this this year at some point anyway, only because it is so short. I, my mum loved this show. It's like one of the favourite, of course. <laughs> uh, it's one of the favourite shows of all time. But she's I've been wa making a watch Succession, and she, she says Succession is a favourite show now. So... I mean, that's topped it, but Downton Abbey was a number one for a while. Number 12, we have The OC with 195 votes. Yeah, this is when I started. I think I got to, like, episode 7 or 8, and I might go back to it, because, again, it is only four seasons, and I think season four is, like, really short. Uh, and it was, from what I saw of it, it was actually a really fun show. So, again, might get to that at some point, but we shall see. And number 11, we have Sherlock with exactly 200 votes. Uh, again, very short show. I think nine episodes, but they're like an hour and a half. It's like a movie each episode kind of thing. Um, but yeah, Sherlock. I think I've seen the first episode when it first aired a long time ago. Is that show done? I feel like I've not heard of Sherlock in a long time. They have like a season pop up once every five years or something. So uh, yeah, that came in at number 11. Now going into the top 10, we have the originals with 206 votes. Again, a show I started doing reactions to back in 20. I want to say 17, so a long, long time ago, uh, I will be redoing when I do... Again, I'll get to the originals probably at some point when I yeah, do go through the Vampire Diaries anyway. 
uh, and I will be restarting season one of the originals because I don't remember anything about it. I felt like I kind of not treated the show unfairly, but I just wasn't as into the show as I feel like I would be now because it was kind of a very more serious tone show, whereas back then I liked kind of doing like Pretty Lies and Team Wolf and kind of having a laugh with those shows. The originals was not one of those shows you could kind of have a laugh with. <laughs> um, but now, you know, doing reactions, well, how many years later? Five years later from when I probably did the, started the originals. It was around that time. Uh, I think I'd be more willing to give it a chance, I think. So, uh, yeah, the originals came in at number 10. At number 9, we have Once Upon a Time with 224 votes. Obviously... This, I put in brackets on the survey for this one and some of the other shows that were on there as well that didn't actually come into the top 10 like Money Heist and Lucifer uh, that it would be continuing from where I left off and once upon a time I got to I think halfway through season 2 and yet that came in at number 9 I'd be fine continuing that show it was ridiculous I think it was one of those shows again that like I said it was kind of fun to watch because it was kind of Bad. <laughs> but it was yeah, I had so much fun watching it, like I can't I can't lie, it was yeah, season one was a was a good time. So yeah, that came in at number nine. I was surprised about that actually. At number eight we have the original Charmed with 227 votes. Again, no matter where this comes on the poll, I will be doing this at some point this year. I said that at the start of the year, and uh, people have been waiting for me to do the original Charmed for a while, so I want to do it. I think this is one of those shows. That I know I need to get to at some point. I've been, you know, having it on the on the burner for so long uh, that again, no matter where it comes in the poll, I will probably start that at some point this year. Like I, it was between this and Gilmore Girls for the shows that I was going to start, and Gilmore Girls uh, won the, won the vote on that one. So, but that came in at number eight. At number seven, we have The Boys with two hundred and twenty eight votes. One more vote than than Charmed on that one, but I'll still put it in the poll on Patreon, but I, I just bit the bullet and started this show. I mean, I, I'll reveal that here, I guess. <laughs> I've started doing reactions to the boys. I've filmed episode one, and I'm filming episode two tomorrow, so I think it's one of those shows I, w I was going to watch off camera. I was this close to just starting it off camera when season three started anyway, and then I figured it's, what is it now, like 24 episodes overall? I figured I'd just do reactions to it and, and get it done. Season 3 just finished, I think, yesterday as of recording this. So, yeah, that came in at number 7, but I'll be doing, I've started reactions to that anyway, so don't worry about voting for that on Patreon. It's going to... It'll still be on the poll, but it's going to be having reactions anyway just because it's so short. All right, at number 6, and I'm kind of disappointed with you guys on this one. This We went from 228 votes with the boys to 263 votes with this one. At number 6, we have The Big Bang theory I'm going to let that one settle in a little bit luckily not all hope is lost because there is another sitcom spoiler alert that was above the Big Bang Theory and I'm not doing with New Girl included I'm not doing three sitcoms I mean technically I would have finished Friends by the time I start the one that beat the Big Bang Theory in terms of sitcoms, but it was between the Big Bang Theory and the other one, the other big one, what could it be, oh my god, <laughs> and luckily the other big one uh, beat the Big Bang Theory. I was so disappointed. <laughs> Number six, guys, what? <laughs> oh, bro. I've seen season one of the Big Bang Theory years, I think I'm talking like 2012, I want to say, where I watched season one of the Big Bang Theory, and I feel like I barely laughed then. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like if I ever do reactions to the Big Bang Theory, I'm going to warn you now and be honest. I, it'll be one of those hate watch things. I, I don't know. I just Friends. I was like open minded to. It. I was like, okay, it doesn't seem like my kind of show, but I'll give it a go. And now I, I love Friends. It's like one of my favorite shows I've read to. So, Big Bang Theory maybe could become that. But I don't know. I guess we'll find out next year because it didn't win the... I mean, oh, what well, if it wins a Patreon poll? Patrons, please. Do you, If you want reactions to me... Okay, I'll say this. If it wins a poll, I'll do season one. That's what I'll stick to. I'll stick to season one. I've said there's another... Again, I'll get to another show in a minute where I said I'll do at least season one because there's some shows where it's just so long that I can't commit to the entirety of a show and I'll just say I'll do a season at a time. I did that with Supernatural. I did season one of that and I was like, okay, that's... Uh, maybe I'll get season two at some point, but I've seen enough of that for now. That came in at number six. And number five, we have The Umbrella Academy with 294 votes. I was surprised with that one. That was, I was surprised by how, how high that is. I, I feel like I don't hear a lot of people talk about The Umbrella Academy. I, I heard a lot of people talk about it when season one came out. 
but then season two was a bit less and then season three came out and i feel like no one really really spoke about it but yeah that came in at number five at number four and this is one that i will commit to doing one season of for now but Grey's anatomy uh with 304 votes yeah that didn't surprise me i assume that would come in the top 10 because it's got such a massive following uh but yeah i'll say it could because it is so long i think we're talking like 16 individual seasons for this show i remember saying way back in the day i think 2017 times i was like i'm never going to do Grey's anatomy don't be ridiculous and i'm like yeah you know what <laughs> why not let's do one season and number three i was surprised with this one as well we have buffy the vampire slayer with 306 votes not be not surprised because i know how popular buffy is but i know i kind of had three seasons left i think it's three seasons left or something like that so i was very close to the end i guess people just want to see me finish the show because I think out of all the shows I, I'm still left to finish, Buffy is the one that gets bored the most. Like, when are you doing Buffy? When are you doing Buffy? It's like, I do want to finish Buffy. I love Buffy a lot. Um, and maybe this will be my push to just get the three seasons done. Because I really do want to finish it. And the thing is, I think in my mind, I'm like, if I do Buffy, I know I have to continue Angel as well. And I really was enjoying Angel, but then that's end of the four seasons of the show that I've got to commit to. So technically it's like seven seasons if you're including Angel. But yeah, I, I won't be against finishing Buffy. I think, again, it's one of those, I, I know I'll do it at some point. And number two, this is the one that I was on about that beat the Big Bang Theory, but with 310 votes, we have How I Met Your Mother. Uh, so yeah, that is, I assume that's going to be on the Patreon poll as well. That is going to be the sitcom that is going to replace Friends, which we have three seasons left of. So I think I'll probably start How I Met Your Mother again. I'm going to assume this is going to be The Big Bang Theory. I'll be shocked <laughs> if The Big Bang Theory beats How I Met Your Mother, but I don't know. Uh, How I Met Your Mother, I think I'll probably start maybe when we're on like the final season of Friends or something like that. Uh, I assumed this was going to win. It didn't come first. I thought it was going to come first, and it didn't. What came first with 346 votes? So we went from 310 to 346 that show my friends what do you think it is comment below now what's it gonna be what's it gonna be could it be shameless could it be finished shameless no it's not no one no one wants me to finish shameless <laughs> no that did i think that was in like the top 20 to be fair but uh it was a uh, brooklyn 99 brooklyn 99 came first uh which i was very surprised about i don't really think i have many comments of people being like i'll oh, react to brooklyn 99 there's obviously a few but not that many. How I Met Your Mother has, has way more requests in comments than Brooklyn Nine-Nine did. Uh, but here we are with 346 votes and it being number one. Again, this is just your guys' list from everyone who voted. These are all going to go over onto Patreon, so they'll decide the official uh, shows I'm going to be doing for the rest of the year. But uh, like I say, The Boys, I've started anyway. Chomped, I'm going to do at some point for sure. Grey's Anatomy, I want to do season one of at least anyway. Downton Abbey, I'm pretty sure I want to do at some point this year. But yeah, they're the top 15 shows. Like I said, we will do this again next year. I, d I don't know, I just think it gets everyone a bit more involved with what kind of shows we have on the channel and stuff because I know for the most part I pick and choose with what I want and I, I still will stick to that because, I mean, it, again, why I don't know why you'd want me to react to shows like EastEnders where I'm just going to sit here dying and crying for the rest of my life. But maybe, maybe you do want that, I'm sure a lot of people do. But uh, yeah, this... I feel like most of these shows are shows that I'd be completely happy reacting to anyway. I think all of them, actually, apart from Big Bang Theory. But, again, I could be wrong with that show. I'm not I'm not going to say, like, oh, I know for a fact that it's going to be shit and I'm not going to hate it, because I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it'll be my favourite show I've ever reacted to if we ever do it, but... Um... I'll say doubt on that sentence, I think, but you never know. You never know. Uh, so yeah, there we go guys. Like I say, the Instagram link will be down below as well as the Patreon link if you do want to perhaps go vote over on there. Uh, and like I say, the Instagram link was, is for the tournament arc <laughs> that we're going to be doing for TV shows so you can vote. Like I say, I'll be doing three on my story every single day uh, until we whittle it down to one TV show. Um, so you can have your say over on there. But thanks for watching guys. I'll see you when I see you. Until next time, take care. Peace.